Vai você já coi levado? Vai já vequishimo? Aralora, lora, shahar, aralora, shahar. Vai você já colivaro, vai a vequishimo, ara loura loura shahar, ara loura shahar. Vai você ria coiv levadoi, vai o vegishi moi, ada loisa loisa shochar, ada loisa shochar. Vai você ria coiv levadoi, vai a u vai kishi moi, ada loisa loisa shochar, ada loisa shochar. Ah, uh, what does that mean? What is the little translation of those words? And Jacob was left alone. And he was left to wrestle with the angel of Esau, his brother, who planned to kill him. He wrestled with him up until the morning. When morning arrived, Esau, Esau's angel turned to him and he said, please bless me. Isn't that a powerful story? It incorporates, it integrates the whole spiritual story. When you reach a level of peak, your opposing angels ask you for blessings. When you reach a level of peak when you've reached the highest level you you've aimed to attain wherein you become mature you've taken the high road you bless others you're kind to others not because you're gonna get something back in return no you do it in order to give yourself the greatest meaning and in order to make yourself be high to make yourself be elevated divine part of divinity you hence get blessings from others you hence find the blessings in others what happened to Jacob when Jacob arrives, arrived rather, at his uncle Laban's house? Laban, his uncle, Laban, his uncle turns to him and he says, you're one of us. You're part of our family. Come join us. And Jacob felt very, very happy now. Finally, he escaped his brother's death threats. He escaped his brother's threats and he was met up with his brother's grandchild who tried to, who attempted to kill him as well. And he escaped all that. And I spoke to you last week about what it was like when he was lying in the field all alone with, with the stone surrounding him. Now he arrives at his uncle Laban's house thinking that finally he got some peace. Nothing of the sort. Once again, rejection. Despite the fact that initially Laban, his uncle, tells him, you're one of us, you're our relative, stay with us for free. And if you work, I'll pay you graciously because you're a relative, I'm not going to pay you. No, no way, I'll pay you graciously, I'll be kind to you. Take my daughter as a bride. 
first worked for seven years and then and then he fools him and we know what happened. We know what happens after that. Jacob's not deterred, despite the fact that he was lied to once again. Somebody said to him, You're one of us, you're our family. Come in. You're one of us, you're our family. We'll, we'll respect you, we'll treasure you, we'll cherish you. We know how amazing you are. No, no, no. That didn't happen. He was lied to. Jessica Madden had a very similar story. In Jessica Madden's life, Jessica had people. After Jessica had been rejected, people said to Jessica, You're one of us, you're our family. Come be with us. No problem. And then came the next wave of rejection. And the rest is history. This is not to find any means of vilification on anybody else in my life. On anybody in my life for that matter. It just helped me reach my peak of salvation. Reach the peak of my means of, finding, of defining myself from a place of divinity. I've become a lot more divine as a result. I found my peak, I found my spark. Despite another wave of rejection, despite all the rejection, I found my divine, I found the reason why God was doing all this to me, and now I know why it was done to me. I look at my forefathers, I look at my patriarchs and the matriarchs, and I see how amazing they were, how they faced rejection, how they responded to rejection, how they had resolve in the face of rejection. And I take that and I realize, that's powerful. That's amazing. That is something to grow from. On Friday, I mentioned my review on the amazing movie called Harriet. On the movie Harriet, I didn't tell you what happened in the very, the very initial stage of the film. When she jumped into the water, she was being chased by her former master and she jumped into the water. When she jumped into the water, she quite literally risked her life. Nonetheless, she was going to be free to serve God wholeheartedly without any limitations. She jumped into the water and her master was shocked and her master was so sure, former master of that matter, was so sure that he's finally rid of her. She's gone for good. But God guided her. She trusted in God. She believed in God. She knew she was part of the divine. The divine was leading her. And she got out of the water. She brushed off the whatever was left of her clothing after falling into the water. She brushed off her hair and she moved on. And she saved herself. She got to Philadelphia. How is this connected to the story of, of Yaakov, of Jacob? Well, quite literally, Jacob had to do the same thing. He had to jump into the water. He had to survive. He had to pursue. He had to ensue his journey. He had to be full of resolve, not deterred, not broken, not. He was unwavering. He was quite literally unwavering in his determination to reach freedom, to reach peak of spiritual peak, to reach the peak of spiritual divinity. I just played to you an amazing song in Hebrew, which is called, And Jacob was left alone to wrestle with the angel. And when he reached, like I said before, when you reach the morning, the angels turned to him and asked him for the blessings. That's a powerful message. It's a message of pertinency. It's a message of what happens to you when you are mature on your spiritual journey. When you take the high road and you are mature, and you don't see other people's means of trying to undermine you, of trying to make you feel inferior. As something against you, rather, you see it as God's message. You see it as God's message, wherein He's elevating your soul to its spark, to its divinity, to its highest flame. Follow after me, this amazing mantra, this amazing divine saying, small meditation. I am that I am. I am that I am. I am part of the divine, part of the divine, part of the divine, I am. It's powerful, isn't it? This message of I am that I am is actually taken from a Hebrew verse in the Bible, which is going to be read in about 10 weeks, I'd say. No, less than 10 weeks, something like seven, eight weeks. It's called Va'ira, which we literally, God says, I am that I am. 
and that is used in many many spiritual um, teachings many many spiritual teachers talk about that verse in particular and if Gara talks about it now come lots and lots of spiritual um, teachers talk about that particular message of I am that I am that's my amazing message if you enjoyed today's video why not leave a comment in the comment section down below and why not feel free to share this message with your friend family peers acquaintances feel free share away I give you my blessings subscribe if you haven't already and press that little bell notification next to it so that you too could see my videos every single day and you could come along with me and spread this message further the more subscribers I have the further I can spread this message and the more likes I get the further this message gets spread so come along with me help me spread this amazing message I look forward to seeing you in my next video I love you